All afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gunn, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put... It's a tradition that began in 1966, and off we go on a Thanksgiving afternoon in Dallas. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. The six foot three QB from Central Michigan leading him out there, and that's Cooper Rush. Every quarterback in the NFL has a little bit of his own signature style out there, but for this guy, he really plays the game in a different way. It's led to a couple double takes from us up here as we see him as something truly unique. It's not that he's just the strongest passer or the best athlete to ever play the position. He just has a certain way of seeing the action and allows him to make some special plays out there. Second down and a little more than a yard here. They go play action with Rush. Open man, the tight end, Luke Schoonmaker. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They run here with Rico Dowdle. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Now Rush. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. On the run, it's Dowdle. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, CD, you see some of the injuries that have popped up for this franchise and obviously hoping to get these guys back sooner rather than later. Yeah, and these guys, they've been hearing the mantra next man up since their Friday night light games in high school. It's three simple words, but they're absolutely perfect to use, and everyone has adopted them. Next guy up, do your best. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Diving for the end zone, and the ball's knocked out. And well, the Giants have it. It's picked up. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field. And he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. They will be led out by a second-round pick in 2019. Out of Missouri, it's Drew Locke. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Throwing now is Locke. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. They'll run here with a rookie. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Here's third and three. In motion goes the tight end. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. They look to throw. It's locked. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. 
The Giants had a woeful 2-9 and nine on the year. And whatever promise they had to start the season fully evaporated now as they come in losers of six straight. Well, you know what they often say, winning breeds winning. But unfortunately, the flip side of that can be true as well because this is a club in desperate need of a spark out of somewhere. A big play on offense, turnover, takeaway on defense, something to get them pointed in the right direction. They need it quickly. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline, out of bounds, where no one's going to have a chance at it. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Cowboys offense and running back Rico Dowdle headed back onto the field. And he's been a tough guy to contain this year, and his numbers reflect that, as you can see right here. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. The numbers for him from a week ago. Four catches, 112 yards, and a touchdown. Third in the league in receiving yards, and that's a strong number. That means he's being consistent each and every time out. Back to throw, Rush. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. You talk about this giant defense. They're a unit that enters play way down, number 28 in the NFL right now against the run. And stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all season long. Aren't you glad that you're not coaching the defense right now? I'm very glad. They said that they've seen it in doses, but very, very small doses. Yeah, you've got to be consistent. It's down in and down out, being able to play it, understand what you have to get done, and finally stop some people, put them on the ground. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it, from route running to catching the football, that's why he's able to produce. And a loose football, and the Giants have it. It's picked up. And some room to work. Inside the 10, and this is taken into the end zone. A fumble recovery and a Giants touchdown. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score, and a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. Extra point try, good by Gano. And that makes the score 7-0. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davids. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ferguson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Here's Rush to throw. And this one quickly to Lamb. And he's going to get this inside the 30. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Rush. Pass complete to Jalen Tobert. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. An opportunity to get back to level after the fumble return touchdown. First and goal. Dowdle. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down.
throwing here. Rush. That's to the sideline and incomplete. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Rush working from the gun. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. And his kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. There's a short one caught by Johnson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Locke. That's to the rookie. It's Malik Neighbors. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Tracy going to get it on first down, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 14 carries, 55 yards, and a touchdown. And even though it's a short week, running backs love when they're in a groove, and that's exactly where he is right now. He's hoping to feast a little bit more here on Thanksgiving. Right back to Tracy. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys' 40-yard line. So third and two, this quite possibly four-down territory, though, if they're stopped. Here's Locke to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Locke. Going right side, he finds Slayton. So the completion results there in nine yards and that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Lock going to throw. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 15-yard line. Lock now to throw. Left side, he's got Robinson. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Second and six. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and three. To throw it is Locke. Touchdown! Malik Neighbors, his fourth touchdown on the year. And they are able to add on to their advantage. And that's an old-fashioned death march there, partner. Took them a lot of plays, but hey, they did the job. And the defense always preaches getting off the field, making a play, and turning it back over to their own offense. Unable to do so. A long, sustained drive by the offense. 
Gano the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense and C.D. Lamb ready to take over once more. And he's right up there amongst the league's best when it comes to racking up receiving yards this season. Currently ranked in the top five as things stand here. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, C.D. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. A running play. It's Dowdle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Defensively, they were in the 3-4. Solid run up the middle. What made it successful? Well, what you have to do is control the nose guard, but sometimes you don't do it by blocking him. You do it by influencing him. Get him moving to one side or the other and hit him back on the opposite. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Now second and three. Play fake. Here's Rush. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. To throw is Rush. Over the middle complete. That's Lamb. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. What a drive. This has been just chewing up the yardage, and here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Out of the shotgun, Rush. And he'll go right back to Lamb. And he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. Line of scrimmage, the 9. Second and about a yard. They run here with Dowdle. And he'll be brought down this time at the 5-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. They run again with Dowdle. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Rico Dowdle, his first rushing touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys are back within a score. Well, that turned out how they wanted. Run the toss play to the left side, go for that pylon, get in there. And just being able to understand where the pylon was and sneak it in there, well done, well executed. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. We see Drew Locke in the offense coming back on. The returns on the last drive, pretty good. Seven for seven, touchdown pass. Probably take that, right? I would say so. I mean, when you're cutting them apart that way, feeling so accurate, so confident going downfield, and then able to culminate by putting it in the end zone, oh, yeah, he's feeling real good right now. Now he'll try to carry that over to this drive. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. Straight ahead, here's Tracy. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine.
On the give, it's Tracy. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. He lost four there, and it's third down. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Malik Neighbors with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year as his guys are able to extend their lead in the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game, and I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Gano now to add the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. So that drive, four plays, and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Well, the home team's offense and their big play wideout getting ready to get back to work. And seemingly every time they've looked his way in this first half, it has resulted in a big play as borne out by the numbers. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Lamb. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And his throw's going to be incomplete. These two teams met up earlier in the year, back in week four. And it was the Cowboys winning on the road, so they look for the sweep here back home in Arlington. Check, check. To throw again on second down. Rush. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. You want to see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset? This is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give up play. You're just hoping to get something positive and it winds up breaking big and they convert on third down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. From the 43, it's second and three. Back to throw again. Out right, he finds Tobert. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now a handoff running through the middle. Bobby Okereke making that tackle. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now rush. That one complete, Elliott. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a yard. Looking to throw. Rush. Pass complete. It's to Ezekiel Elliott, his running back. And he's able to get this down to the five. Now, I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Again, he'll drop to throw. And oh, it'll be in. 
intercepted. And the Giants are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was. Well, whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all, because look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an interception, is going to hurt on any down. But really, the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal and you throw the pick, not good at all. After the turnover, here's Locke. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. They'll hand it to Tracy. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. One more time, they'll keep it on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. The Cowboys offense and Cooper Rush getting set for this next possession. And he's had things all his way in this first half. The number's sensational as he'll look to add to them with another drive here. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Rush to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Rush. That is caught. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Back to throw Rush. He's got it complete to Tolbert. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. But now there is a penalty marker on the field. So let's see what this is about. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And we will not have a return. They'll bring this to the 30. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've hit halftime on Turkey Day here in Dallas. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Giants offense and Drew Locke headed back onto the field. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. 
As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They've reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner, yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. In motion right is Robinson. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. From the 42-yard line, here's the second down and nine. Now to the air, lock. Now they go screen, it's complete. Down the left sideline. And he's got it all the way down to the 12-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 46 yards. They're good at running the screen. Sometimes it's probably taken for granted, though. You need a good deal of deception in there, don't you? You certainly do. And you know what else you need? The people who aren't involved in the deception to make sure they hold their blocks and someone doesn't flash too quickly in the face of the quarterback. Here's Tracy. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Giants take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead is up to 15 now. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it was capped off by a 12-yard touchdown run. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. This offense making its way back out, led by their wide receiver. And he's been filling up the stat sheet on a weekly basis. So to no one's surprise, his name sits near the top of the list in terms of most receptions by a wideout this season. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Throwing here, Rush. Looking middle, and that's complete. And I think he just wanted to get the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they can make something happen, but he ends up throwing into a crowded area, and after the catch, he isn't able to do much with it. Throwing again on second down, Rush. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They'll look to throw again. And he is caught by Lamb. And he's brought down. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Fighting Tolbert here over the middle. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Rush working from the gun. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 
They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Elliott is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Again, it's Elliott. Pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. This is third and goal. And this Giants defense, they have withstood the test thus far. On the run, it's Dowdle. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Rico Dowdle with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers and let's get this one in now the extra point up and good by Aubrey and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful so after the touchdown Aubrey now to kick this one away and able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line New York's offense back out there and set to go. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. From the 33, here's second and five. They'll send the tight end in motion. They look to throw. It's Locke. There's a short one caught by Johnson. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Running left is Tracy. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. But it wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went ahead and went heavy. No surprise on who was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just put a hat on a hat, drive forward. Nice job to pick it up. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. And they'll come up second and seven. They'll go again with Tracy. And they get him behind the line. So that short gain on first down quickly negated. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Here's third and nine. Here's Locke to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. One heck of a third down conversion, 33 yards. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things not deep downfield that can hurt your defense. Play action. Now it's Locke. He's got Bellinger. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Rifles one incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. A 
Throw out wide, going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. They'll try to the field goal now with Graham Gano. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. Gano's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So three points, a uh, response there to that opening touchdown in this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also in letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. And a good return, but he pays the price at the end of it as he's picked up and thrown down. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. To throw is Rush. Able to hit his target, Lamb. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. We're on to the fourth here on Thanksgiving Day. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and eight. Back to throw. Rush. It's caught. Tolbert. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 56 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second and five now. Rush toward the sideline. He will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet in bounds. Out of the shotgun. Rush. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Here's second and one now from the seven. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. He kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so, bringing up second down and a bit farther. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Rico Dowdle taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. 
Sometimes offenses can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And the Giants ready to come out now. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Block now to throw. Throw left side, taken in by Slayton. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. On the run is Tracy. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. From the 47, it's second and five. Right back to Tracy. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. The 71 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback hey no time to be a hero we're not going to throw it here just eat up that clock and if you have the ball they can't score shotgun snap to lock he finds his man Johnson so the completion good for seven there and that'll make it second down ground here comes Tracy and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage this will be the eighth play of the drive it's third and seven now a play fake and here's Locke and look at this they get the turnover they needed it's intercepted picked up by Trayvon Diggs and the Cowboys are right back in this football game a seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. The home team's offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And as we take a look at some of the highlights, we see just how impactful he's been. He and his quarterback have such a great chemistry together, and it's been on full display throughout the contest. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. And this series could very well determine our outcome. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. Here's a second and eight. Now Rush. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The Cowboys on third down. They've been excellent. Six for seven. This will be third and five. Looking to throw. Rush. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's out of bounds. Able to take this one up to the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw. Rush. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. 
So give him two yards there on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this one quickly to Lamb. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And now two yards to go on third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Back to throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they get five there on third and two. Here's Rush to throw. Right back to Tolbert. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Here's Rush. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. Now Rush. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And the Giants have just about sewn up this football game. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. They have the lead, still a one-possession game, but the defense got to stop. They've got the football now, just salted away, right? Exactly. That's all the defense is counting on from their offense. They did their job in a big way. You know they're over on the sidelines now, starting to take their tape off, and, hey, we've done this thing. The offense has to put it away, and that means ball security. Absolutely. Stranger things have happened. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Straight ahead, here's Tracy. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Tracy trying the right side. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Now Locke. Pass taken in by his big tight end. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. And they'll indeed take a knee. Lock, he's set to take a knee, and that should do it for this ball game. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. Well, this ball game was close throughout. Remember, it was neck and neck at intermission, neck and neck at the end, but a great job to come in here in a tough environment, Charles, and get the victory. Yeah, tough environment indeed. How about all the people we can hear shouting from their seats right below us, partner? They weren't real happy that their team didn't keep the home field. How about how these visitors came in, calm every step of the way, even with all the pressure, and found a way to get out of here with a win. 
So for the Giants, the win moves them to three and nine now on the year. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week. Meanwhile, for Dallas, the playoffs look to be out of reach now as they drop to four and eight. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.